Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to create a wood alpha for ZBrush. So let's go to Photoshop first. And I have this texture here. And we're going to use this uh, wood texture to create our alpha. So I'm going to go in image adjustment and uh, click here to hue and saturation. Or you can uh, change it to black and white. I'm going to desaturate it. So select this and uh, turn down this saturation click ok go to image again and adjustment this time let's select levels and we are going to play with the contrast a little bit something like this now let's export this so i'm going to save this as PNG or you can also use PSD. So let's try the PSD first. I'm going to save it as a PSD and uh, go to my ZBrush. Let's take a primitive. Let's take this cube. and scale it like this and uh, let's go to make polymesh 3d and in our geometry let's turn off this uh, smooth and uh, add some points I'm going to go in the geometry and select this divide. You can also press Ctrl D. And we have uh, on half a million polygons. Let's make it to 2 million and uh, go to this uh, Dynamesh. But before using this Dynamesh, make sure you have deleted the lower subdivisions. And uh, now let's enable this polyframe and uh, See how our mesh looks. Let's try this Dynamesh, mesh, increase the resolution. I'm taking it to 300. Click on this Dynamesh. mesh. Now it looks fine. Turn it off and uh, disable this polyframe. Now let's import our alpha. So keep your brush set to standard and uh, stroke. I'm going to select this uh, drag rectangle. And in the alpha, go here in the import and uh, select your PSD file and open. Now we have this wood alpha and now we can place it here like this. So if it's too strong, what you can do is you can just go back and uh, increase the focal shift and decrease the intensity. Also, set the intensity to Z subtract. And now let's try. And now you can add uh, wood like fibers here. And uh, if it's too smudgy and uh, not very sharp, what you can do is you can let's go back and uh, increase the subdivision level. We are still on 63,000 points. Let's turn it up to 1 million. And uh, now try adding this texture. And now you can see these wood fibers. like this and uh, now this looks much better so that's how you can create wood alpha for zbrush and sculpt some realistic wood so that's it for this one and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and drop a like on this video
I'll see you in the next one.